Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Uh, yesterday I went to the beach and I painted and I uh, painted this birch tree which a couple folks asked me if I would do a tutorial on. This is the same tree with the landscape behind it and I just did a bunch of other little uh, paintings while I was there um, watching my kids swim. Um, I think you really just make a point to be inspired by your surroundings and paint what you see. So this is my travel kit that I took with me today, uh, yesterday. It was a Ziploc quart freezer bag and I took some watercolor paper scraps here and I also brought my Koi watercolor set and um, I already, I just refilled my water brush so that's why it's not in there and um, I also had a paper towel which was handy which I always seem to forget. So what I want to work on is I really like using rough paper as opposed to smooth paper when I um, paint landscapes and out in nature and whatnot. Just the texture of it seems to be a lot more conducive to um, to more natural scenes like that. Natural, that's weird. Why? <laughs> I don't know why I just said the bizarre accent there. More bizarre than usual. That's rich coming from me, bizarre accent. Um, so what I'm going to do is make uh, my own grays. I'm going to use a couple different colors here. I'm going to use some yellow ochre. I am going to use some of this, I think it's Van Dyke Brown or Burnt Umber. I'm not exactly sure. It's the brown that comes in the kit here. And I'm also going to use some ultramarine blue. Let me just clean my brush off a little bit there. And get my ultramarine. And I'm using the water brush that came in the kit because um, a lot of you guys said that you purchased these kits and so better make sure that you uh, you know how to use it. <laughs> Not that it's any different really than any other watercolor kit. So um, let's make uh, this... Well, I want to make a birch tree obviously and I think what I'm going to do is start with one side and just kind of... Um, oh gosh I just want to kind of... because the birch tree is white so I don't want to have a big black outline. I think I just want to kind of go up and kind of paint maybe one side which would have the more more of the shadow on it and a lot of times the branches if they're skinny branches they'll end up being a little bit darker so I'm gonna put a few branches out there I'm gonna drag some of the dark across it'll catch the um, raised area of the paper and then I'm just gonna kind of start fleshing out the other side just by putting in some of the papery birch uh, texture and lines in there this is just going to be a very quick tutorial. The thing that's kind of cool about painting from nature, taking your paints out and um, sketching what you see, is that you're going to paint from memory a lot better because you really are forced to observe and be kind of in the landscape and of the landscape while you're painting it. So it's it's a great exercise and I know it can be a little bizarre. I There's a couple people that were watching me paint yesterday and I offered to let them try um like you want to try it and i think they did but i think they're also a little bit of, a little bit afraid of you know how it would come out and if it didn't turn out well they'd be embarrassed there's no need to be embarrassed everybody starts somewhere and i don't think anyone would would watch you paint and be like oh she doesn't know what she was doing they'd be like oh i wish i had the courage to try it so you know think about that just don't let fear stop you from doing what you really want to do all right and then i want to flush out this side of the tree. I stuck my hand in it. Look at that. It's going to look real natural now. Uh, <laughs> accidentally natural. I'm going to grab a little bit of the yellow ochre and a little bit of that grayish mix and I'm just going to start to kind of throw in some of that here. That's kind of give me a, a, you know, since we did our shadows on that side, this is going to give me the more lit up side. Okay, let your colors run if you want to. The drier your brush, um, the more it's going to catch the texture of the paper and give you a cool, um, give you a cool look that way. There, kind of like that. And I would just kind of try to keep it simple. Now, if you happen to have your credit card scraper, which is something I wish I had in my uh, thing yesterday, and I've cleaned off my table. Ah, here it is. I'm going to put one of those right in there, right in my thing. And after I'm done with this, it's going right in there because. I really want to have this with me. You can really get some cool defined lines with this and I couldn't do that on my uh, one at the beach because I didn't have one of these. I didn't have any credit cards in my wallet to cut up that I couldn't make my own either. Oh yeah, so that kind of gives you a cool look and then we can let that dry and add more layers of, um, of depth and darkness in there. Like this is nice and dark here so if I go and add that I can get some really cool dark areas. And just, you know, go out there and paint what you see and have fun and don't worry about what anyone's um, going to say. If they see you painting on the beach, they'll probably be like, that is so cool. Now, if you want to put some, you can throw in a background, but 
I, I didn't even really want to bother with that. Um, so what I'm going to do is just throw in, throw in a few more branches. I do like my branches because then you can really get used to handling your brush. So you can kind of like use it up on its tip to give you some nice defined lines. Or you can kind of push and drag it and get some, you know, wider lines. This is looking creepy, like a creepy, creepy tree, creepy tree. <laughs> okay, so so it doesn't look so creepy. We gotta put some, <laughs> gotta put some leaves on it so it doesn't look so menacing. The whomping willow, the whomping birch. Shout out Harry Potter fans. <laughs> so let's use some, let's just dab on some leaves. So we're, you know, we're just gonna give the impression of leaves. I did do birch leaves when I was there. I don't know if I did to show you that one right here. This is what birch tree leaves look like. Um, it was very, a very leafy tree. I was sitting under in the shade. I got there early, so I got the most coveted spot on the beach. I'm usually not, I, I gotta start going later because I have a hard time leaving the beach and so, and so do my kids. So it's really hard to want to leave the fun <laughs> when I'm at the beach. So I gotta start going later so that I'm not in like the direct sun rays. My kids aren't in the direct sun for so long. I'll put in some of these brighter greens. Just kind of move your brush as you go so you don't get too much um, samey samey so it looks more natural. And I like to let the colors flow. I give a little bit of this uh, lemon, lemon yellow. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm actually part French so I hope I'm not offending any French people. I am actually good. good portion of me is, um, is French. Which is probably why I don't completely crisp up. In the, for being as light as I am that I don't completely uh, turn into a lobster when I get in the sun. It's got to be because <laughs> I like to be in the sun a lot. I'm quite lucky I'm not a wrinkled old leather hide here. All right, so I made it gone a little bit overboard, but you never can tell until the next day. That's, a, that's what I think about, about paintings. You can't really tell if you've gone too far until the next day. And you know what? I'm going to put some little grasses in there. It's just a piece of paper. Who cares if you go too far? You know, I mean, have fun with it. You'll have to let that dry before you can paint any blades of grass over it. And there were these cute little, um, little, they weren't dandelions. They were like those ones that are like dandelions, but they're not so fluffy. Um, they're more of like a, uh, actually more of like a cadmium yellow. We always called them Indian paintbrushes. And we would paint on our skin with them. We would like, um, rub them on our skin. Like, um, I don't know, because they're kind of like, like India ink hues, I think. Either that I'm being completely politically incorrect. If so, I apologize. I don't know what the, they, and they come in orange and they come in red and uh, they're really neat. They don't, they don't seem to go by as quickly as dandelions either. All right. So I feel like I need a little something there. I think I'm gonna just squeeze the extra ink off, paint off my brush. Get a little bit there and just maybe Throw in a little something. There we go. So, there you go. Birch tree. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this tutorial. And until next time, happy crafting.